welcome to Subic. Life is beautiful here in Subic. Best to enjoy it here in the pool with a frozen margarita. Cheers, guys. So refreshing. What was formerly the American Subic Bay Naval Base has been redeveloped by the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority into an industrial and commercial area with hotels, restaurants, Zubik Safari, Ocean Adventure, an open water marine theme park, Mogal Bird Park, duty-free shopping, outlet stores, and the Harbor Point Mall by Ayala Malls. Join us on our mouth-watering foodie adventure in Subic Bay, where we share with you our favorite restaurants and must-order dishes, as well as favorite spot for sunset happy hour. Subic Bay is one of the top weekend getaway tourist destinations from Manila, only 160 kilometers or a 2-hour, 30-minute drive via the NLEX and SC Tex expressways. Meet Plus was created by Totti and Vilma Santos and Partners and first opened its doors in 1994. The concept was to sell U.S. beef at an affordable price where you can choose your steak with a minimal cooking charge. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We just arrived in Subic Bay. We're here for the weekend, two nights. And there was a little bit of traffic from Manila, around two and a half hours because of traffic on the NLEX. But we finally arrived and our first stop is Meat Plus. Our favorites at Meat Plus are the U.S. beef salpicao, U.S. ribeye steak, french fries, and grilled salmon steak. The group have since branched out to Manila and set up a few more restaurant concepts, Kettle, Fireside, and Tender Bobs. I order the U.S. beef salpicao. So this is tenderloin beef cubes, cooked in olive oil and topped off with some toasted garlic, served with garlic rice and mixed vegetables. This is my all-time favorite dish here at Meat Plus. Mm. That was perfectly seasoned, super savory. It will always be my favorite dish here at Meat Plus. And it goes perfectly well with the garlic rice. I'm enjoying the salmon. It's pika. I think very good value for lime. There is also some salmon. Mango salsa. Little bit sweet, but pleasant. Lime. It's very juicy. Nice texture. Not overcooked. Perfect. How about salmon? Cigara Villas and Suites is a serene boutique hotel located along Waterfront Road in Subic Bay. It has a modern Asian design and has an in-house restaurant serving Pan-Asian cuisine and an outdoor pool and pool bar. Royal Duty Free is a pioneer duty-free shop in Subic, having been in business for 30 years and is owned by the Rustans Group. Now we're at Royal Subic to pick up some supplies for the hotel. Take a look at this sale. Oh. Buy four, take two Corona beer. Hell yeah! Vasco's is a maritime-themed hotel, restaurant, and bar by Australian entrepreneur Brian Homan and the only 24-hour bar and restaurant with panoramic views of Subic Bay. They offer a relaxed al fresco ambiance with reasonably priced beer and cocktails, and from their pub grub, we would highly recommend their chili sticks and chicken schnitzel. Cheers. 
Cheers, my love. Cheers, guys. Welcome to Vasco's. This is one of the best Bayfront uh, restaurants and bars in Subic Bay. What do you have over here? Yeah. Extended right over the water. This place is so amazing and so romantic. Seems like the crowd has died down since that pandemic began, but you know what? It's still one of our favorite destinations in Subic. How do you think that? Yes, many of them say that it's very easy to take a lot of history. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we're checking out an Adidas outlet close to Ralph's on the main Rizal Highway. Now we're at the main branch of American Premium Outlets, still trying to uh, build up our appetite for dinner. Now we're checking out the biggest gym and athletic club in Subic, which opened in 2019. It's called Victory. We have boxing, Muay Thai, aerobics. Texas Joe's is a landmark restaurant in Subic known for their authentic Texas-style hickory smoked ribs and perfectly grilled USDA ribeye steaks. We have practically tried everything on the menu, which has been consistently delicious over the past few years since opening in 2008. This 19th century style saloon is as close as you can get to the Wild West, and the food and drinks will blow you away. From their menu, we would highly recommend their Tex-Mex panhandle fries, onion loaf, redneck egg rolls, pulled pork tacos, burrito platter, pulled pork quesadilla, fresh cream of mushroom soup, spare ribs, baby back ribs, shrimp on the barbie, Joe's crispy jumbo rib, and the USDA ribeye steak. From their bar, the Texarita frozen margaritas and frozen mango margaritas are exceptional. here in Subic. It's called Texas Joe's House of Ribs. We've featured this restaurant many times over the years and these are some of our favorite dishes of all time. So we have the baby back ribs, full swam, pulled pork quesadillas, and the panhandle fries. They also make excellent cocktails. And tonight I'm having their strawberry frozen daiquiri. And you are having the classic. Yes. Cheers, my love. So the baby back ribs comes with two sides. We ordered the french fries and the baked potato, which is served with butter and a sour cream sauce, as well as they also serve the uh, roasted green beans, which are totally spectacular, with some toasted garlic on top. Mm. Beautifully salted, with a nice crunch in it. And now, I'm gonna dig into the main event, the baby back ribs. Every time we come to Subic, we always make sure to drop by Texas Joe's for their ribs. So they have three sauces over here, their original barbecue sauce, the Carolina honey, and the habanero, which is my favorite, a little bit on the spicy side. Hickory smoked, ultra tender. These are definitely the best ribs in the Philippines. It goes perfectly well with their panhandle fries with skin on, and this comes with uh, nacho cheese and jalapenos. 
Mm. Perfectly cooked. You're always bound to have a very consistent meal here. I'm always happy to eat here every time I come to Sweden. Must visit. As usual, I order full pork. This is Zinia quesadilla. Uh, this is pork quesadilla. I love this sauce. It's like a big green with sauce with salsa also on the side. A lot of food for here, a lot of flavors, a lot of texture. Fantastic. Even though we try to cook quesadilla in the house, but it's not comparable, even not even close. I think it's everything. It's the whole combination of their wrap, you know, their pulled pork, which has been smoked. I mean... Yes, and even how much it was a little bit burnt, it still gives me a lot of flavor of all those mixed flavors. Definitely a place to visit. Legendary. Legendary, even still alive. Alexandra, what do you have to say about those ribs? Finger looking good. <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe. Now we're having a evening walk after that hefty dinner. And right next to the lighthouse, seems like they have some kind of like food truck kind of thing happening here, this rotunda. next time Hello. Same owner? Same owner. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's check what's happening at the main place. The Lighthouse Marina Resort is a three-floor, 34-room boutique hotel with an Instagrammable lighthouse. The design is sleek and ultra-modern with an outdoor pool. The Terrace Hotel is a 38-room beachfront hotel along Waterfront Road with its claim to fame of having the best roof deck pool in Subic Bay. The best roof deck pool is here at the Terrace Hotel. With panoramic views of Subic Bay.
sushi. How is it? It's really sweet and really well blended. No, I can't taste like any eyes. No ice particles. Really cold and amazing. Pizza Volante is considered to offer one of the best pizzas of the North and was started by John Nasser in Baguio in 1999 and has expanded to four branches. Our favorite is their thin crust pepperoni with anchovies. Makimura Ramen Bar is one of the newest outdoor Japanese food stalls open in Subic at the parking lot of the Harbor Point Mall in 2022. While the price may be highly affordable, we were completely disappointed in the flavor of their tonkotsu broth and quality of their salmon sashimi. Mr. Taste is the only Pakistani halal restaurant in Subic and was opened by Mr. Anwar in 2019. On our first visit, the food was authentic and service was fast. We would highly recommend their signature chicken biryani and mutton masala with paratha. For lunch, we're at Mr. Taste. This is a Pakistani halal restaurant located along the Rizal Highway here in Subic. And we can't wait to try out their food. We ordered their chicken biryani and mutton masala. Yeah. So the mutton masala served with a paratha bread or basmati rice but we ordered the paratha and then we have the chicken biryani i'm so excited to dig in the prices are so reasonable i'm gonna add this yogurt sauce to this chicken biryani so this is with basmati rice and quite a few bits of chicken i have a drumstick over here The chicken is ultra tender and moist. That mas basmati rice is super fluffy. And with this yogurt sauce, that takes it to the next level. Now I'm gonna try the mutton masala. This is a tomato onion based sauce. So the mutton here is served on the bone. Oh wow. And it's ultra tender as well. The tomato based sauce, not so spicy, I can say, but delicious. And for the price, that is super great value. Let's try the paratha now, just the Indian flatbread. Dip it into this masala. Mmm. Wow. That is impressive. Very light and airy, that paratha. Absolutely delicious. Must visit Pakistani restaurant over here in Subic. For the first time, we're trying food here in Subic from a Pakistani restaurant, which serves amazing chicken biryani and matam masala with the roti. And so it's chicken biryani, and totally enjoying that. So grateful. Water. Rally's Restaurant is a romantic sunset bar and restaurant with undoubtedly one of the best happy hours in Subic.
Rally's was first opened in 2008 by the Peralta family as an outdoor grill bar along Argonaut Highway and has transformed into a contemporary fine dining restaurant. That's homemade pomelo juice. Thank you very much. Sunset Happy Hour starts at 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sundays to Thursdays with 50% off on a diverse selection of cocktails using top shelf alcohol. For the best Sunset Happy Hour in Subic, we're now at Rally's, which is located along the Argonaut Highway. They've completely revamped their happy hour menu with top shelf alcohol at the start we're having their pomelo mimosa cheers my love so that's made with freshly juiced pomelo as well as prosecco from italy alexandra cheers alexandra's having a pomelo spritzer oh that is so refreshing I love the sourness, a little bit of sweetness from the pomelo. It's perfect for the sunset. And it looks like it's an absolutely gorgeous day today. What do you think, guys? There's quite a few new drinks on their sunset happy hour list, which is 50% discount Sunday to Thursday. So can't wait to share with you some of the other drinks that we tried today. Cheers, guys. Up next, we're having the classic margarita, but over here, now it's with Patron Silver. So quite an upgrade since Jose Cuervo last time. Extra strong if possible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Sunday after all. Uh, yeah. And we don't have to go back to Manila till tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect floor, no wastage. Beautiful. Up next, their classic margarita, and this time it's made with Patron Silver Tequila. So that's a top shelf, one of the best tequilas you can have in a margarita. Cheers, my love. Oh, and look at this. It's Himalayan salt rim. See that pink salt? Cheers, my love. Oh, that is full flavor. This has to be one of the very best margaritas I've ever had in my life. Classic. Classic margarita. Oh, and look at the view we have today, guys. Still waiting for the sunset. Thank you. Up next, I'm having the Top Boy. So this is with Lestau Solera Reserva. And that is also with Glen Fittich 12, Rum Blend, Lafroix 10, and Orleans Bitters. And I love that ice block in there. Are you having it? I think this should be so this is two of their signature drinks that they're serving over here. Let's have a sip. Cheers, my love. Wow, that is so smooth. It's a bouquet of star anise, citrus, cinnamon, with a floral finish. 
This is so enjoyable, guys. I think I might have to order another one. How about yours? Excellent, and we can't wait to try another drink after this. We have one of the new dishes over here, it's called Mool Frites, which are Chilean black mussels cooked in white wine, served with french fries. Alexandra, what do you think about those mussels, baby? Very soft. And yummy. How's the flavor? Mm. Softy, very softy. And french fries. How's the fries over here? I wouldn't say they're the best fries, but mm, it's still okay. So the way I like to have my mussels is have it on the half shell, get some of that white wine sauce. And this goes straight up right here. Hello, who's having Sienna? Oh. Thank you. And this diet diet. That is an amazing seafood white wine broth. Can I take this? Oh yes, that's all. Thank you. Excellent. Perfectly cooked smooth things. Up next, I'm having the diet daiquiri. What are you having, babe? Sienna, what's in there? Rosella syrup is rose syrup, am I right? Wow, another fabulously refreshing drink over here. What can you say about yours? So that on the sweet side or? Salt side. So it's a very good drink, but I recommend if you want to go in the cold drinks, don't take my previous drink before anything. And I'm having the diet daiquiri. So this is with Havana Club, which is a white rum, and Flor de Caña, which is a dark rum, and infused with lime flavor. This is a classic daiquiri and. Uh, it's so refreshing, once again. Cheers, I'm super enjoying our drinks tonight. Okay, so. Cheers. Great, good job. Happy hour. Excellent job. Happy another drink which I love so much because it has Campari, vermouth and sparkling wine. I love the bitterness. I don't like sweet cocktails because you don't feel how you're getting drunk. The bitterness makes you feel conscious what you're drinking and you're drinking slow and then no cadet. Let's taste this cocktail. Love it. Cheers! Up next is Between the Sheets. This is a craft cocktail made with Hennessy, very special, which is cognac aged between two and five years, as well as Havana Club white rum and lemon juice. Ooh, that is surprisingly light, very citrusy and refreshing. And this really packs a punch. Not that heavy, but it really takes you to that next level. Enjoying it. You know, I'm not really a fan of like cognac on the rocks or even on its own, but this goes a long way. Cheers.
We're back at Texas Joe's for dinner. We're back at Texas Joe's for one simple reason. The food is so damn good and there's so many dishes you can't just eat in one meal. So that's why we're back and I want to share with you one of my all-time favorites uh, since they first offered it. It's Texas Joe's crispy jumbo rib. Look at this guys. There's nothing else like it. Nobody else serves it. That is a massive jumbo rib. And I'll tell you all about it very soon. Oh, that comes off so easily. That's quite a big chunk. Look how meaty this rib is. And so for the sauce here, it's not the regular barbecue sauce. They have a special uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and red onion sauce. Which I'm gonna dip that in. Now this is coming straight to daddy, right here. That is ultimate satisfaction from this jumbo rib. And for side dishes, french fries over here, and a uh, baked potato. But really from their side dishes, I really love their roasted green beans. I just can't get enough of this. That goes down the hatch so easily. We also have Perfectly seasoned, super fresh shrimp. Oh, that is amazing. And for the price, I think that's an absolute steal. Grilled red peppers too. Mm. Just beautiful. Alexandra's gonna have the first bite of the Joe's crispy jumbo rib. Ready? <laughs> is that awesome or what? Well, you tell me about it. What do you think? It's so crispy and delicate. It's really soft and tender. I really like it. It's the best I've ever tried. Only Texas Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a completely different experience from their regular ribs, right? Yeah. But which you like better? Or is it really depends on your mood? I think it depends on my mood. Alexandra has it right on. She hit that nail right on the head. Because this dish is so good on its own and it's so unique and different compared to regular ribs that you can have. But you can enjoy this kind of crispy rib and still enjoy their regular ribs. That's why tomorrow we're coming back. Extremely Espresso is the original Subic-grown coffee shop with specialty burgers, pizza, pasta, and signature Eskimo Frappuccino. I got Caramel Macchiato, my favorite drink everywhere in Starbucks. And here also, let's try it. It's authentic. Mm. Rich flavor, good smiles on my face, smile of satisfaction. I love to stay here and I want to enjoy it for a while. Pure Gold Duty Free Subic Bay is our favorite warehouse shopping destination for food and drinks with massive discounts all year round. Now we're at Pure Gold Subic for a little bit of shopping before eventually heading back to Manila. But we're still gonna have some ramen and uh, possibly some more ribs before leaving. So over here we got this Richie Pepper Grilled Beef Rice Crackers, 50% off. We're gonna definitely get one of those.
quite a few amazing deals here at Pure Gold Subic. So if you take a look, these chips were 240 pesos, became 60 pesos. I'm getting a whole box of it. Uh, this brand, Argente, is uh, from Spain and they're quite good Spanish chips, very crispy. I haven't tried this flavor yet, so I'm just getting one pack of it, but also the same discount from 240, 60 pesos. Getting some cat food that wasn't on sale, but these rice crackers with beef flavor, Alexander wanted to try, also 50% discount. I think it's like 60 pesos or something. And these chocolates, heavily discounted. I think it's like 100 pesos for 250 grams. So a little bit of pasalubong for my brother. And we're at the checkout counter. We're back at American Premium Outlets for a last bit of shopping. Three. Uh, this is the ramen baku. Yes, it is. Ramen Baku is a must visit ramen house in Subic Bay, opened in 2022 by Sachiko Hirono Sakura, which is recognized as the best Japanese restaurant in Subic. Ramen Baku serves Yokohama IEK Ramen, an extremely popular style of ramen in Japan. The noodles are handmade, medium thick, only with select high quality flour, and their tonkotsu broth is to die for. We would highly recommend their shoyu tonkotsu ramen, gyoza, chahan, and their mabo eggplant set. Chashu looks amazing. For lunch, we're at Ramen Baku here at the Harbor Point Mall in Subic. I ordered their Yake Shoyu Tonkotsu Ramen. So this is inspired by Yokohama's Yekke Ramen, which is a popular style of ramen in Japan. Noodles are handmade here, medium thick, made with US and Japanese flour, and that is their to thick tonkotsu broth, which is also made in-house, tons of collagen here, made with pork bones. We're gonna have a little bit of the tonkotsu broth to start. Mm. It's quite thick, but very savory, creamy, and so this is served with a few pieces of their pork shoulder chashu. Alexander already had a few pieces, and uh, looks like Japanese spinach and a, a semi-boiled egg and seaweed. So now I'm gonna try the noodles. Again, these are medium thick noodles, which they make in-house. Mm. Very slippery, cooked al dente. That's slurpingly damn good. Well, I love their broth over here. In terms of the chashu, so this is pork shoulder so it's not so fatty. That is extremely tender. I think for the price, this is an absolute steal and probably the very best ramen here in Sumit. Must try. The egg is perfectly soft boiled in the center. 
I like that they also have quite a decent amount of condiments for your ramen, including the grinded sesame seeds, chili powder, and chili oil. All that's lacking is the fresh garlic. As an add-on, I also ordered the yaki gyoza and chahan. So Alexandra demolished the chahan already. And I'm about to try their yaki gyoza, which is their pan-fried pork dumpling. I have my sauce over here. So go in all in one bite. Mm. The pork inside is well seasoned. In terms of the wrapper of the dumpling, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more crispy, but it is very flaky. I probably wouldn't order the yaki gyoza on its own, but Alexandra seems to like the chahan. Massive serving. Yes, it's right? a similar, yeah. right? So here is ground pork sauce and a plant. It's oily a little bit, but the difference is Chinese plant is the sauce not so big. Thanks for joining us on our Subic food trip. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode. If you are looking for a comfy pizza slice of nostalgia,